Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and I vlog daily to keep you updated on the real life situation in my country as the war with Russia continues. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel and today I have decided it's Friday so why don't we go to the museum. And here in Lutsk we are proud to have the Museum of Modern Art, the Corset Museum of Modern Art that was created in 2018 and now it is one of the best tourist destinations both in the western region and in Ukraine, I believe. It is a huge industrial zone that was converted in a modern museum. We have lots of very interesting exhibits here and nicely designed space. Of course, some of the most precious exhibits are not here because we have war with Russia and we have to protect them. Some exhibitions already reflect the reality of Ukraine, but this is a very interesting, very inspiring and very modern location. And I want to introduce you to it today. And also I want to show you one of uh, interesting artistic experiences that Ukraine goes through and that is the creation of the largest painting in the world Cosmogonia by Petro Ante. But first let me introduce you to the modern to the modern museum of modern art. Well I think you can recognize some of the words that we often address President Putin with. And I like such spaces, they are very inspiring and like, I think you can guess the meaning, like even without knowing the knowledge and the exhibition reflects much of the Russian Soviet reality, actually it mocks it and I think it is interesting and very very modern and look at the spaces I like when urban spaces are converted into museums and other things you see how nice the space is played with And my shoes. I like them a lot. Both Soviet people will recognize Cheburashka. That is a hero of Soviet cartoons that were very popular everywhere around the USSR. So a little bit about the project and does it have English version? No, but in future I guess they will. This is one of the halls, the first one, very popular, lots of Lutsk and Ukrainian people have photos from here. So anyway, let me know, would you like to have like an excursion, a separate, with a quality operating work in this museum? Because I feel like it is worth more attention. And installations, I always like them. And this is, if I'm not mistaken, the work of... Uh, of a very famous Ukrainian painter, Emma Andreevska, who lived in emigration, but she was also a very beautiful writer. And um, talking about installations, I always like them because you can never explain directly what they mean, but they are thought provoking. And I think that the most important function of art is to be thought-provoking. Okay. Okay, let's keep
give some attention to this too. Like the works that are represented here are by Ukrainians and it's free. Futuristic and electric sculpture by, oh, by Beata Korn. And that is not a Ukrainian also perhaps, but that's also interesting. By the way, this museum is also open for various presentations. It's not me playing. Now I hope you will like my city even more. And that's why we need to protect Ukraine. Because Ukraine is a land that can discover a lot to this world. I don't know how can I film the sculptures, but they are awesome. Maybe you feel weird about such things, but for me, it's mind-breaking. It's very difficult, like she's taller than me. And it's quite difficult to film it and you know that I'm a person that is afraid of robots and she looks very android style but a very interesting art like the one that you like looking at and there are lots of other sculptures smaller that I think are very exquisite and interesting and I will leave you a link this is the registration office i will leave you a link to the web page of the museum so if you get interested you can read more and you see also some sculptures of the military topic like it's all our life right now so remember i will fix the link to the museum in the first comment and you will introduce yourselves more to it if you want to know that and in general the space looks awesome and very very inspiring and by the way very visitor friendly all the sculptures they are very interesting and thought-provoking. Once again, for me, the art is the provocation of your mind, of your thought, and then it is something very important here. Do you recognize, by the way, the heroes of Azostal? They are already and this famous building that survived Russian shellings. So many of our important events are already reflected in modern Ukrainian art. And I think this proves once again that we are invincible in comparison to Russian orgs that can produce only hatred and low quality, I don't know, threats to the world and my favorite lady. Very Ukrainian colors and very Ukrainian realities. You see how many interesting things are here to discover. Ukraine is a modern creative country that can give a lot to the world. We even have <laughs> Frida Kahlo portrait in Lutsk, so I'm sure there are lots of things we can surprise you with. And you have to help us win. Sculptures and portraits of some great Ukrainians. Honestly, they don't resemble me, many of them, but anyway, that is a good and interesting idea and you see how many halls how many different artists how many different styles how many different senses 
This museum transmits and this is Ukraine. And this is war in Ukraine, how people feel it, how people go through it. And there are so many interesting things that you will be able to discover when you come. And I hope you will. And I hope Ukraine will be one of the greatest discoveries of, the, of this century. Let me know, would you like to have a separate excursion in this museum? Maybe I should take a professional cameraman because I believe it is worth telling and it is one of the best modern art museums in Ukraine and I'm really happy that it is in Lutsk because of the Corsic family and their desire to develop culture and arts in Lutsk and Ukraine. And now I want to introduce you to the project Cosmogonia, which is now created by a famous Ukrainian artist Petro Antip, who uh, comes from the Donbass region, but after the start of the war in 2014 he moved to Kyiv and now works both in Ukraine and in Germany. And in November 2022 he started his project, uh, Largest in the World Painting, which is also the longest performance because it is open, like everyone can come and watch the process of creation of uh, this painting in the Lutsk Museum of Modern Art. And this is a very good and at the same time symbolic action because it demonstrates that during war, during dark times, Ukrainian art exists, it can surprise the world, it can inspire people. And this is the moment when I feel proud to be both Ukrainian and to come from uh, Lutsk. So the painting is going to be really big. Uh, its uh, height is approximately like 10 meters and the width is 200 meters. It will consist of different fragments that will uh, reflect the process of creation. Now I will show you uh, to that hole, but uh, the sound may not be perfect because it is in, still in the process of production. It will take approximately 18 months and the start was November 2022. So let me show you this painting Cosmogonia by Petro Antip in Lutsk Korsak Museum. So now we will go up and I will try to show you the size of the performance and the painting. It is going to be the largest painting in the world. Its height is 10 meters and it seems to me more than 200 meters long and it consists of small fragments and is a part of a storage space in the Museum of Corsics. Cosmogonia. Actually, it is really cold here and I have to confess that I'm a huge fan of modern art and uh, for example the best for me museum in Paris is the Centre Pompidou. If you know other interesting museums of modern art all over the world, please let me know. I am definitely a fan and I want you to imagine the size of this room because it is really deep, really long and the painting is just in the process of creation.
perhaps this is the basis for fragments. Please forgive that I'm not talking much here because various production noises. But I want you to imagine the size, like maybe I'll help you in that. By the way, all of this is humanitarian volunteering aid for civilians and for the military too. Because the Museum of Corsex is very active in that. And the workers of the museum and of the storage and of the supermarket uh, they participate in this performance which makes this painting unique because it is both a painting and the performance of its creation I hope you enjoyed our today's excursion to the Museum of Modern Ukrainian Art, Korsak Museum, that is located in Lutsk. And I hope this war will end soon and you will be able to come discover Ukraine. And this, will, this must be one of the places that you will visit. It has lots of interesting exhibits of modern Ukrainian art or dedicated to Ukraine. Many precious exhibits are now hidden to protect them from Russian orcs. But at the same time, many artistic works are now in the process of creation. And I think that Ukraine is going to be one of the greatest cultural discoveries of the 21st century. It's bad that because of war with Russia, but it's good that finally the world will learn and know more about Ukraine. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for taking care of Ukraine. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons and Slavo Ukraini.